Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5, the official release, and preserve your baseband for an unlock, whether it be the GV Sim unlock or Ultra Snow. At the moment that I'm making this video, Ultra Snow has not been updated to support iOS 5, but I'm going to put an annotation in the video letting you guys know when it's been updated in case you're watching this video and it has been updated so yeah now there's a key thing to note about this jailbreak it is tethered there's not an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5 as of yet as soon as the untethered jailbreak comes out I'll make a video covering that but this is a tethered jailbreak so you're gonna have to use iBooty which Snowbreeze automatically creates for you and put it on your desktop to boot your device tethered every time your battery dies you reboot or you power off your device so you're gonna need two things you're gonna need Snowbreeze this one right here and you're gonna need the iOS 5 IPSW I'll have the link in the description where you can download those you can use the GM one or you can use the official one it doesn't matter but I recommend using the official one so yeah first thing you're gonna do is right click Snowbreeze click properties click compatibility check off run this program in compatibility mode 4 windows service pack 2 check run this program as an administrator hit apply and then hit ok now you're gonna go ahead and run Snowbreeze yes click ok close credits and you're gonna go ahead and hit the arrow next now you're gonna browse for your firmware I put mine on my desktop because it's the easiest place I can so I can find it quickly here's mine iPod touch I'm gonna go ahead and click next now if you if you have an iPhone you're gonna see a preserve baseband mode here you can go ahead and if you don't want a jailbreak you can just go ahead and click that preserve baseband mode right here and it's gonna preserve your baseband and you can go ahead and use that to update if you're not interested in jailbreaking. If you're interested in jailbreaking, you can continue on with the steps. So we're going to go ahead and click Expert Mode. Click the next arrow. Click General. Next. And also, if you're using an iPhone, you, this, hack, this activation method here is for users that do not have the official SIM card to unlock or activate a phone. So if you have an AT&T SIM, uh, AT phone, iPhone, but you don't have an AT&T SIM card, you're going to have to activate your phone. Oh, yeah, and you could check whatever um, you want. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and check that as well. And leave battery percent enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Next. Oh, and I forgot to mention all of Snowbreeze methods preserve your baseband so don't worry about that the, the baseband preservation mode is only there if you don't want to jailbreak and you just want to preserve your baseband but all of them preserve your baseband you don't have to worry so now we're just gonna go ahead and click build click next and we're gonna go ahead and leave Snowbreeze to build the IPSW so I'm gonna come back after Snowbreeze is finished building the IPSW and continue the process so now that Snowbreeze is finished building the IPSW, <clears throat> now we gotta click OK and then we're gonna get ready to put our device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I'm gonna show you. Make sure your device is plugged into your computer, or laptop, whatever you're using. And we're gonna hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna release the power button, keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Snowbreeze recognizes our iDevice. So now we're going to go ahead and click start and get ready. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Release. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. Now Snowbees has recognized our eye device. Now we can release that. Snowbreeze is finished. Click OK. Now you can close out Snowbreeze. Now you're going to run iTunes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click Shift plus Restore. Click Press Shift on the keyboard. Press Restore in iTunes. You're going to scroll down. And you're going to look for the IPSW. It's going to be on your desktop. Snowbreeze automatically puts it on your desktop. 
as you can see right there you're gonna select that now you're gonna go and click restore in iTunes and we're gonna let iTunes work its magic I'm gonna come back when iTunes is finished now after iTunes is finished your Cedia and your Safari should be working as normal now when you first open up Cedia you're gonna see a black screen says prepare a file system don't panic just let that work its magic it's gonna prepare the file system it's gonna exit when it's finished and then you can open up CDA, it's going to look like this. So yeah, that's it guys. Please remember this is a tether jailbreak, so you're going to always have to use iBooty. If your battery dies, you reboot your device or you power it off so you can boot your device tethered. The only, the only device it's untethered for is the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Link in the description for in-depth guide, everything you're going to need to download and troubleshooting steps. You are now jailbroken, may the jailbreak force be with you. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.